Alright, so I've just left the grocer where I got my ingredients for making some stuffed dumplings, which would be pretty good. So uh, let's get back and uh, start cooking, shall we? We got some of the ingredients over here. Uh, this and the almonds and the corn, those are going to be on the inside. I'm going to try and make some kind of tomato sauce uh, to put over the top of the dumplings. So I started some rice back there in the rice cooker. That will probably take 25-30 uh, minutes. And then once it's done, it keeps it warm in the rice cooker. So I just started that right away. And I think what I'm going to do next is start on the uh, dumpling part of the dumpling. And uh, after that, get to the stuffing for inside of the dumplings. Here's a little trick for getting the uh, tops of cans out when they fall in like that. Just use a magnet. So I'm going to try something uh, interesting here. I'm going to try using the uh, liquid from the canned corn to make my uh, dumplings with the flour. This is some goopy corn, so uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. Yeah, that didn't that didn't really work. Uh, so water and maybe some olive oil. I don't that could work, I guess. If anything is going to kill me on this, it's uh, this right here because uh, I I've never really made anything similar to this before, really, beyond like pancake batter from the mix that you can just buy and add water or milk to. Some bits of corn got into it. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Could be worse. Right, so the rice is uh, getting close to done, so I'm going to add in some frozen peas just to cook them with it at the same time. This is certainly uh, doughy now, but I think it might be a little too. Uh, too wet. Might add some more flour. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Well, uh, I'm just gonna set this aside right now because uh, I don't really know what to do. Maybe it'll fix itself just sitting there. If not, I'll have to fix it later. But I'm gonna move on to the filling. So I've gotten the uh, mortar and pestle out. I'm gonna start this filling off by trying to make a sort of uh, almond butter and uh, see how that goes. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the rice is done. Probably should have done this first. This takes a while. I think I'm going to start to add in the oil now. This is starting to sort of be an almond butter now. Uh, I think it might be good enough for what I'm using it for. Alright, so this is the first time I think I've ever cooked with cucumber. Uh, so, uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I have no clue if it is better to add this right in with the almonds or to take the almonds out and uh, smush that up first and then add the almonds back in. But I'm going to try just adding the almonds and see if that works. Actually, first I'm going to dice it instead of just slice it. I think that might work a little better. Right. Now I think I'll add it. The cucumber is actually making the... Uh, making it more of a butter uh, from what it was. Maybe I just needed some more uh, liquid added in to make it more of a actual butter, although now it's not a nut butter, more than a uh, nut butter with cucumber in it, so... Taste test time. A lot of olive oil. Probably should have put less olive oil. 
You just listen to that sound. Yum. So I'm gonna add just a, a little bit of carrot. Just cause, I don't know, I feel like you could add to the flavor. Uh, I, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just uh, kinda making it up as I go along. Now is when I start to wonder if uh, I'm gonna run out of camera space or battery before this gets done. Uh, we're, we're an hour in right now. Uh, I haven't even started heating anything except for the rice and the peas, which are over there, uh, being kept warm. Um, and speaking of those, I believe I am going to uh, go get that right now and, and uh, add it in right after I mash up these carrots a little bit. Just going to add some of this in. And I was thinking uh, originally of doing the ginger in with this, but now I'm thinking uh, I'm going to do it in with that tomato sauce uh, that I was going to go over the dumplings instead. Alright, so um, I think the rest of this is uh, going to be used for something else. Um, there's no more room for it in the container, or really in the dumplings, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, there we go, I'd say that's ready to go. So, uh, I guess I'll move back over to that dough stuff and see if I can figure that out. I don't know, I think this, uh, well, I might be able to use this right now, the way it is, I think. Throw some flour down, roll it out, and see what see what happens. I couldn't find a rolling pin, so I'm gonna use a glass. Uh, it should work. Right, so the battery on the other camera died. So I rolled those pieces out that I had uh, separated. You saw that far. And then I put the filling in and folded it over and used a fork to mash it down and uh, ended up with that. So next up will be uh, boiling that and working on the sauce. The other camera is uh, not charging fast enough. It's coming up on 10 o'clock. So uh, the rest of this is going to be piecemeal video clips. Uh, Alright, go. So let's get this water Boil it. Make sure you're uh, turning on the right burner and that there's no burner cover on it that might start to burn. <clears throat> Alright, well that water is warming up. I'm going to cut this tomato and dice it and then uh, mash it up and make it into a tomato sauce and uh, add spices and such to it. So uh, let's do that. Sliced, diced, and smashed. Now for the ginger. Sliced, diced, and added. Now let's get some spices added. So and mixed all in, dumped in a pan, and Hey look, we're cooking guys. Now while well, the tomato sauce is getting cooking over there, we're gonna start taking the dumplings and putting them into the water we got boiling earlier. Moment of truth. Oh, all these have sat for too long. Oh man. Oh, all these have sat for way too long. Oh, I'm gonna need two hands for this. You're just gonna see it when they're in. If I can get them in. Alright, here are the ones that I managed to separate. Uh, eat mostly intact. Um, and then over here uh, are some globs of mess that I'm going to stick in after these so they don't get all mixed together. And uh, the uh, tomato sauce is coming along pretty nice. And I forgot to put the cord in the filling, so uh, I'm just going to dump a bit in here. See how it goes. That's good. Alright, that's all mixed in, and I have no clue how to tell when those are done. I guess I'll just pull one out and see what it's like. Alright, I think the sauce is pretty much there. 
you can probably thicken it up with flour or cornstarch if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it kind of liquidy. Uh, and I think I'm going to take these out now and see what they're like. And here they are. One somewhat decent looking one, and some falling apart ones. Those definitely sat for too long in that bowl, and they stuck to the, each other, and they stuck to the bowl. So, tip for making this, or tip for yourself, next time I make something like this, don't just let those sit in uh, for a while before cooking. Uh, you should probably cook them right after you make them. Alright, switched over to the other camera because that one just ran out of space. Um, here we are. Then plated, I left that one uh, by itself to try without the sauce. And then there's the sauce which actually congealed up kind of nicely as it cools. So it's it's not actually as, as fluty as it looked when I was cooking it. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll try this and see what it tastes like. The filling's good. <laughs> Definitely need to work on the dumpling part though. It's not bad. The dumpling part's just kind of bland. I wanted to try doing it uh, vegan. That's why I didn't use any egg or milk or anything like that, so... But that would definitely make the dumpling taste better. You know, the filling's really good. Now, with the sauce. Alright, that's, that's really freaking good. Yeah, the sauce definitely uh, hides all of the blandness of the dumpling, so... This is fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna go eat this now. And then, um, probably edit for a few hours. Becky, I'll see you tomorrow in Duftba, everyone.